Hey, welcome back to Ye on Temple. Good vibes. Stay on Temple. I'm doing a video about the chickpea omelette I posted on my Instagram. And I just thought you guys might want to know how I make it. I'm actually upgrading the recipe, upgrading the way I, in which I went about it. Adding some different flavors and different for a meal, if you get what I'm saying. Just more packed with nutrients. So we have the chopped up vegetables, some kale, some baby tomatoes, some mushroom, portobello mushroom, some scallion, and some green onions. Have the kale is washed in some Himalayan salt. You have the chickpea flour being mixed with some of this hemp seed, hemp bits, hemp seeds, you know what I'm saying? All of that is in there. The chickpeas, that's for a different thing, but the chickpea flour, some cayenne, yeah. Of the million salts, this is already added to the batter. So, I'm kind of doing this freehand so the proportions might be different, but I did half of a portobello mushroom and about three different baby tomatoes sliced up. One cup. This might need a half a cup as well. I mean, let's see. So, you know, I'm just doing this as I go, adjusting. I'm not a straight to the books type of person. I like to adjust as I go. Some people are more, they follow it direction by direction. You know, I like to try things new. I'd like to do things innovatively. <laughs> That's the word. I like to add innovation. So, it's just different types of methods <clears throat> that's how I learn new techniques is by trying new ways if you feel what I'm saying so the way I'm mixing it you might be able to mix it better in a different bowl I'm just using this container um, just because you know I could have used a bowl a metal bowl but it is what it is. It's getting the job done, you know. Add a little bit more water. So this is like one eighth of the cup, if any. You 
you'll start seeing the batter get very loose, more loose. Everything's gonna be more sticking together. That is a really good sign. Added about three dashes of the cayenne, about two dashes of the simulating salt. Make sure you're cleaning as you go so you don't have a lot of mess. So you guys already you know what's going on, big things. thing I also added oregano to it and also add black pepper um, other types of seasoning that you would normally add to an omelet this is a more healthier alternative as eggs are shown to have ammonia which is um, harmful to the body and to your cells also promotes inflammation so that's why I a lot of the times, even if you do eat eggs, it's good to put ginger, which neutralizes ammonia and causes you to have a more alkaline environment to add to your body when you eat eggs, if you do decide to. But this is just a more um, healthier alternative and allows you to get the, actually more protein from the chickpeas without the inflammation causing effects that eggs do have. So I'm just gonna check it with the spatula. I'm using, I use about two capfuls of the oil because I'm gonna be making multiple um, omelets and whatnot, so Make sure you get those proper measurements and adjust if you have to, depending on the proportions that you are wanting to make. So I have enough to probably be, probably make about three. But this is enough for three, so you know it depends on the amount that you you want to use. And yeah, stay in tune. Also use this grapeseed oil, which is PC brand. I found it's really good. Grapeseed oil is something that Dr. Sebi, Dr. Sebi approved, one of the few oils that are approved by it. And it has a lot of good stuff for you. So yeah, check it out. Regularly a flip. Regularly, regularly flip the omelet, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, it's ready now. There you go, enjoy. Stay blessed and peace.